Hmm, this, th this is called an excellent disguise. Which leads me to believe... That it's most likely hiding in an egg. But I'm not seeing any nests that I've not looked at, unless it's like one of these. Ah, it is one of these. Found you. I'm an egg. Be an egg. Go, po, 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 po. Eggs don't get eaten. No, they don't. Be, an, be the egg. Feel the egg. Well, actually, eggs do get eaten by different creatures. Oh no! I've been found out! Go, 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 go. Sh -sh 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 don't eat me! I I'm so stringy! Skin and bones! Oh! You're not one of those nasty birds! Thank heavens! I thought I was done for. Good thing I wasn't. Moogles are notoriously lacking in flavor. Kapo! You mean the others have come looking for me? I knew they wouldn't leave me here, Kapo! I'll return to them at once. Huzzah! Everyone's together at last, Kapo! We can finally make our way to Markholm! I've gone quite tired of all these flying monstrosities, Kapo! The skies that bind. This time, thanks to our trusty adventurer, we won't get lost on the way to Marco. Worry not, for I've memorized your directions. Let us away, Kupo. Have you really memorized them? Alright, that says go to Marco. Eight tickets left. Now we've got to go back to Magool. Hello again, it's been a while. Oh look, you can actually see Koopa Nuts on the tree. Oh, adventurer, welcome back Koopa. Were you able to find the 12 slit Muggles? So they have, slight, they have white ass skin. Probably because they hide so much. Whereas these ones are very close to sunlight. It's wonderful to meet you. Mine's, my name's Koopla Cookie. There are so many islands above the sky. It took us forever to find the right one, Koopo. I'm just glad everyone was able to get here safe, Koopo. My name's Magool. Welcome to Markholm. Magool? What a strange name. And you say... Koopo, not Koopo. Koopo. I almost forgot. We brought gifts for you to solidify our certain friendship. They are quite the delicacy, Kupo. You didn't need to bring a gift. <gasps> oh, these are Kupo nuts. You've seen these nuts before. They're only found amongst the thick wooden bowers of the Black Shroud, Kupo. There's nothing more tasty in all of Eorzea. They're so firm, Kupopo. But look, there's one hanging from the branch here. The Moogles of Markham work diligently to keep our nuts safe, as you should. I shudder to imagine what we would do without them. How curious. Could these be the self-same nuts found in the Black Shroud? Well, let's see here. Amazing! To think our Cooper nuts would be alike as peas in a pod. Well, this visit is proving to be more interesting than I could have imagined. But there's still much to learn. Let's go visit Chieftain Marklin, Kapo.
Well, let's go visit Mr. Moglin. Finish this quest and be on to our very last one, I, I take it, I guess. I suppose. Words. Rugals of the Twelves would welcome to Malcolm. Although your journey has surely been long and tiring, I would like to solidify our friendship by telling you the story passed down through generations in Malcolm. Listen well, for we may may find that which binds us together, Kubo. Long, long ago, a great continent floated above the clouds, and we moguls all lived happily together in harmony. But one day, the skies were split in twain by fire that fell from the heavens, and the once great continent was smashed into countless smaller ones. The islands were too small for the moguls to continue living up together as one, and to ensure the happiness of their brethren, a band of brave explorers set off on a journey to a new land and a new home. Also, the story goes, Kubo. Amazing, Kubo! The Twelve with Moogles have a similar story. Uh, how does it go again? Once upon a time, our ancestors lived in, he in the heavens in harmony, until one day, the gods of a pie began their petty squabbles, throwing a once peaceful land into a tumult of chaos, Kubo. And thus did the last king of Mughal kind, great king Mughalmog the twelfth, may his memory live on for eternity, lower down a rope so long it could reach the surface, guiding his troubled subjects to a new home. But he, in all his malevolence, remained behind to ensure the rope stayed strong for any stray Mughals. Huh. There's not so much difference between the stories of Markholm and the Twelvesword after all. But... Both tell of Mughals coming down from the clouds and to the surface. They must be talking about the same thing, Kubo. Maybe the Mughals of the past brought Kubo nuts with them. That's why they, the Kubo trees are exactly the same. So that means once, long ago, our ancestors lived happily together, Kubo. To think we all co come from the same ancestry, Kubo. Adventurer. Thank you for guiding our twelves with friends here. Today will forever live on as a momentous day in Mughal history. Well, I suppose now it's time to get our friends acquainted with their home away from home. Mug home! Kapow! There's so much to see and so much to talk about, I can hardly wait. Bum, 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 bum. Da -da -da -da. Ba, ba, ba. Wait, so there isn't another one? No, 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 I'm suspicious of this. So it was the skies that bind, which apparently unlocks a Moogle by any other name. And we'll go by any other name. Well, I, apparently this isn't related, but it doesn't have any lead on. So, like, it's literally this quest and then nothing after it. So, sure, why not? I'll take this on as a very, fi very final quest. And then I will go and rest my voice. Oh, no, that's the wrong person. Oh, so it does technically lead on. And we'll go by any other name. Kupla Kuki is thinking about the Moghul Moogles. To think the legends are actually true. Our ancestors did indeed come down from the skies, Kupo. I'm sure Moogul and the others will get along famously. But don't you think the Moogles here have such strange names? There are so many Moogles with names like Margaret and Mogmog, but no one named Kupla Kup or Kupta Kapta. I wonder why. 
Chief Moglin seems to know, know much about Moogle history. Maybe he can shed some light on this mystery. But I'm ne nervous around chieftains. Kupold. But you adventurer, you've rubbed shoulders with all kinds of great characters. And Chieftain Moglin respects you. I'm sure he'll readily tell you all about Mogholm names. And then you can tell me. Okay. I like as well how I can feel my voice getting worse and worse. And before I talk to him, just for good measure, I'm actually going to take a drink of water. So you can look at good old Moglin. Eh, there we go. Ah, that is much, much better as I whack the microphone with my arm. I wonder. Oh, that's a very nice picture. Anywho, back to what we were doing. Oh, Alexander! you finally come to your senses and acknowledge the heavenly ring of Mark, Mark Home Names, Kubo. That pleases me greatly, but I must ask you to wait. It seems Marglu has an urgent entreaty. Yes, Chieftain Moglin, the Palm Guard is f fighting a desperate battle against a gang of monsters swarming our precious Cooper Nut Orchard. We have beaten them back for now, but we fear we are outmatched, Kupo. Ah, luckily we have just the one to help. Alexander, lend the Palm Guard your strength. Mayhaps I speak more with you about our local names, Kupo. The defense of the Kupo trees is of the utmost importance. Speak with Mark Leo of the Palm Guard to learn where he needs you. Once these monsters have been dealt with, ask me again about the knowledge you seek, Kupo. Okay, can do. Now where is Mark Leo? Up above? Oh! Do you know why? His, he caught my eye for some reason. Hey, Leo! Oh, adventurer! It's good to see you again. As you can see, Palm Guard business has me terribly busy these days. Kapo! Speaking of which, where did those monsters go? Oh! You'll help us rid the area of those dread dreadful things? Oh, thank heavens! This sword was getting so heavy. We're filing valiantly to drive off the invaders. There are two of them, so our paws are full, Kapo. I just thought of something I'll, I'll mention it in a second. The Palm Guard have their paws tied with one, while Mughul, the other, twelve, and the other twelve with Mughals are trying their hearts to, to track down the other. The Mughal from the surface have more courage than I thought, Kapo. I'll go help the, the other members of the Palm Guard adventure. Hurry and make sure Mughal and the others are safe. I was thinking... Ah, it's it pretty vague. It doesn't say that he is on the Palm Guard in this. So I was wondering what would happen if you did this before his quests. But it looks like it's vague enough that it could happen before or after. The monster was just around here. Can't be far. We have it cornered, Kubo. Uh... Am I being blind? Ah, right. Moofy Moogle. I saw it fly over there. We'll find it soon, Kapo. Alright, so that's those two done. Now I'm guessing two over here. Would make sense. Hey, Cookie. Ah, you're here to help? 
Well, we drove that monster over to the southeast. I don't think it managed to steal any cuckoo nuts. Mad Magool. I had it in my sights, but it flew away, Kapo. Where could it be? Slay the monsters. I think I found it. Oh no, it says monster. Monster. No, not a streak, ill cat. The most deadly of creatures. Oops, it's dead. I suppose you don't find gill cats in this area. And it probably followed the Moogles here. Since they were over in the area that they generally do go to. That beast was no match for the likes of the palm guard. Koopo! With the threat to our precious Koopa nuts gone, the orchard is safe. Those monsters were so strange, odd-looking wings, curious pointed ears. I wonder where they could have come from, Kupo. Oh no! They might have followed us here, Kupo. We're sorry, we didn't mean to bring such rude guests with us. Well, as long as the Kupo trees are safe, then there's no nothing to worry about. Thanks to our new friends in the Twelveswood, not one nut was disturbed, Kupo. Let's report our success to Chief Mogman. He'll want to thank everyone who helped protect our prized trees. Report to Moglin! And we'll perhaps learn some more about the Moogles. Do -do. Good King Moogamog, Good King Mog. Oh, you've returned at last! Are the Koopa not safe from harm? Yep. Thanks to all our good Moogle friends. Those malicious monsters won't be laying their paws on our nuts anymore! Kapow! Thanks to the help of the 12 foot Moogles! Ah, it's so nice to see you all working together to defend our home, Koopa. Well, now that the storm has been weathered, I believe Alexander wanted to know all about the Moogle names. Hopefully it will serve as an inspiration to him. Ac actually, Chieftain Markman, I was the one who asked the adventurer to ask you. I was thinking, isn't it curious that our names sound so different from yours, Koopa? In the Twelves Wood, we usually start our names with Ka or Poo. They say it's because our names sound like Kupo Nut. Mayhaps when the Moogles came down from the sky, the Kupo Nuts were their most prized possession, Kupo. But the Marco Moogles love Kupo Nuts too, so I've wondered why the names are different. Ah, you're quite perceptive. Koopla Cookie, truth be told, I've never thought about the reason myself. Would it not make sense for Moogles to start their names with Mark? It's all, It's been that way for as long as anyone can remember, Koopo. My ancestor, who is Markham's first chieftain, was called named Moggle. And in fact, it was he who decided which brave Moogles, Moogles would travel down to the surface after fire rained from the skies, so he is a descendant of Good King Mogglemog. Moggle? That name sounds familiar. Good Papa! Mogglemog? Could Chieftain Moggle have in fact have been Mogglemog? If so, Chieftain Mogglin, you would be a descendant of Good King Mogglemog the Twelfth. May all his lineage bask in greatness. Indeed, the two names are quite similar, Kupo. Mogglemog. Remember, they... this was the name of the king from your legend. 
It all makes sense, Kubo. The legend is so ancient, it's no wonder the name changed ever so slightly. That means I'm presenting myself to the descendant of the last king of Mughal kind. The legends tell of more than just the king, Kubo. The valiant household guard of good king Mughalmog the, the Twelfth, may his legend live on forevermore, is also detailed at some length. Does that mean that the palm guard is also... The history of the palm guard is long and illustrious, dating back to Chieftain Mughal's humble beginnings, Kupo. <gasps> Kupapo! That means his household guard was actually the palm guard. I'm amongst some of the most heroic Mughals of all time. I never knew we, we were so important. How embarrassing. Ha! So he is part of the Mughal guard now. Anywho. Oh, I almost forgot. We never thanked you. You helped us take down those dreadful monsters, Kupo. For all your brave services in defense of our lovely orchard and in celebration of our newfound friendship, we will bequeath upon you one Kupo nut each. Kupapo! I can think of no better reward myself. Our stomachs will be full tonight. Do 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 ba 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 da ba da 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 do 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 bum 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 do 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 ba ba And with that, we have completed not all, oh my god, there's still a lot, but we've completed all of the necessary quests so that we can unlock the Mughal Beast Tribe when it comes out in a couple of days. Also, I did that extra one, and I'm really glad I did. So, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed these, and I hope you enjoyed the first session, I suppose, of Side Sto no, Side Quest Stories. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one! Bye bye!